All right. Been a while since I made a little video, so I wanted to document this final fix to the HW16. Uh, quite a while ago, I posted a video about using an external audio amplifier with this because I was having so much trouble with those 6HF8 output tubes. And I went through a couple of them and decided enough's enough. So I pulled that thing out and I uh, used a uh, little homebrew LM380 that I use for a bunch of projects. But I wanted to get that external box away from the rig and put everything internal. So here's what I ended up doing. Okay, so there's an uh, electronic parts place down in Florida. I won't mention the name, but it won't take long for you to figure out where it is. And they sell these uh, audio amplifier mono modules. So I picked up a bunch of those, I think four of them, and um, some headers to uh, plug in here. Let me get this uh, all set up. Little four pin little four pin header to make the connections to and remove the volume control and replace the original volume control on the 16 with a 10k audio taper with a switch so that's what that is 10k audio 10k audio with an on off switch and I'll show you where I mounted it. So hang on. All right, here it is. I hope you can see this. What I did was I took the, uh, since I'm not using the tube anymore, I took the uh, uh, the uh, audio output transformer out, and I mounted my little module here on a piece of uh, fiberglass and mounted it back in the place where the uh, audio output transformer was back in that rear corner just like that so the output of the product detector which I think is uh, marked pin J let me get a, something to point with here here we go which is this point right here um, feeds the audio amplifier module. Actually it goes through the new volume control and then back to the input of the audio amplifier module and then the output right here goes to the uh, speaker jack. And for power, to power that thing, I had a uh, little radio shack small 12 volt transformer that I mounted on that shield right there and I paralleled the primaries with the regular power transformer so when you turn the on switch on um, everything powers up at once and I'll show you where the rest of the power supply is for that hang on okay there was no room near the transformer to mount the rest of it so I ran uh, the output of the transformer into this, uh, again, a little uh, homebrew uh, rectifier set up here with a filter. And this is a uh, LM317 module, a positive voltage regulator module that I have uh, adjusted for 14 volts. And by the way, that module is available from the same place in Florida that the power amp module was. And I think they're $2.95 each. So that's the story on that. Pull the output tube out. Don't need that anymore. By the way, this little thing here is just a control I used to set the side tone volume. The uh, side tone volume was way too loud for me, so put a little pot in there to get it to a more reasonable level. But that's all there is to it, and it works great. Okay, so as long as we're talking about this, one more thing I should mention is, while I was doing all this, I, I use an external uh, UAF-42 
active audio filter with this so I put two jacks in the back one for the uh, product detector output that runs to the filter and one for the power amp input just to make it easy and um, you know plenty of room I had the jacks so no problem and if you don't use the audio filter you can just jumper it like I have set up right there so let's uh, take a wide view here now okay so I'm doing this little test or this little uh, short video in the middle of the summer in the middle of the day and unfortunately there's not a whole lot of signals on 40 meters at the moment but just to show you how well it works I hooked the signal generator up and this is an S9 signal coming out of my generator and that's plenty of volume that's all the way up usually I run it right around 12 o'clock for most uh, signals of course the RF gain will back it off too but it works uh, very well no more 6 HF8 scratchy tubes to replace and uh, nice clean audio although I don't have the scope hooked up at the moment I uh, well you can tell it's uh, pretty clean so hang on just a second okay so if you're interested in this you get those two modules and uh, I think I bought them on sale for a dollar ninety-five I think the regular price is two ninety-five for each of them so a uh, couple of modules a uh, little four pin female header to attach uh, the power in the uh, input to the audio amp module a couple of jacks on the back uh, although that's not really necessary but point J on the printed circuit board is the product detector output and a new volume control with the switch uh, 10k audio taper with a switch or a log taper with a switch so replace the I forget what the original HW16 has and remove the volume control from the new amp module and run uh, some small coax up to the new switch and back and you're in business so that uh, that's the latest little operation going on here and I use my HW16 almost every day I love using this little novice rig it's a blast so uh, anyway that's the scoop keep on tinkering everybody if you try this little mod uh, um, it'll work just fine for you too and uh, get rid of that 6HF8 tube so keep tinkering See you all later.